Hello guys, today I will be showing something different from previous tutorial which I will be cloning a mobile game called Flat Paper. So as you can see I have prepared some free sprite over here. The link will be in the description. So now let's drag the bird sprite into the scene. Let me make it to smaller 0.5. Then we will be adding a polygon collider 2D to detect collision and also a rigid body 2D. Okay, now we need to um, create a script for this bird. So name it as bird script. Double click to edit it. As for the script, we need to declare a float force which is the tap force of the bird we use 400 for now then also a prior rigid body to reference to the rigid body component lastly there will be a boolean is dead checking whether the bird is dead equal to force okay now so on the start method we will be getting the component of the rigid body 2d Yep. Then followed by the update method, we will be checking if the bird is dead equal to false. Then we will detect the mouse input by using input dot get mouse button down zero, which we are reference to the left click. If true, then we will set the rigid body velocity equal to zero. Then we will add the force we define above into the vertical direction of the rigid body. Cool. Now we will using the void on collision and the 2D to detect any collision with the bird. So if the bird collide with anything, we set is that equal to true, then set it rigid body velocity equal to zero. Yep, I think that's it for this bird script. So let's go back to Unity. Mm, add the script to our bird. Okay, cool. Now we need to create another empty game object. We call this game controller, which will handle everything of the game. So create a new script for the game controller. We call this game controller. Then double click to edit it. The game controller will be a singleton class. If you don't have any idea about a singleton, you can check one of my previous tutorial which showing how you guys can implement a singleton class. So this will be how it look like in the singleton class. So let's go back to game controller. So in the game controller we will define a public boolean whether it's game the game is over equal to false then followed by a integer score equal to zero. So now on the, the start method we will be not using so remove it. As for the update method mm, we put a comment to do first. Later we will be use it for certain function. So now create a method called score. Then we need another method call lose when the game is lost. So on the score method, we will be increase the score by 1. Then on the lose method, we will set game over equal to true. Um, yep, okay. Let's go back to Unity. We will be add the script to the game controller. Okay, cool. Now we will be we will be test whether the bird the pet function is working. Cool. Uh, but the 
smoother is not that smooth, let add some weight to the bird. Yep, now looks much better. Okay, so now we need to drag the ground to the our scene. Um, move it to bottom, scale it to bottom. 1.8 will do. Then we place the sky also. We will place the sky inside the ground object as they will be moving along together and set the scale to 1. So now it will fit our screen correctly. Okay, now let me check the order layer for the sky and ground. Let's set the ground to 2 because we are reserved the order layer of 1 for the columns which we will be adding later and the bird to 3 to be in front of the background so now we will be create a new script called moving we will be moving the background when the game starts so double click it as for the moving screen, we need to declare a private rigid body 2D to reference to the rigid body component. Then on the start, we will get the rigid body 2D component. Okay, now we will set the rigid body velocity to. Um, we need to define the horizontal speed somewhere else in our game. So let's go back to game controller. We will declare a public float speed equal to negative three for now. The negatives to indicate the background will be moving backward. So we will put the reference to the game controller dot instant dot speed and put zero for the y coordinate. So as for the update method if game controller dot instant is game over then we will set this rigid body Velocity equal to zero. Cool. I think that's it for this moving script. So let's go back to Unity. Let's add the moving script to the ground. And we try to test it. Oops, sorry, I forget to add the rigid body to the component. So now we try again. Uh, why the background will be dropped like that? Let me check. Mm, velocity correct. No problem. Oh yeah, I need to set it to kinematic. Cool. Cool. Now, as you can see, the background is moving backward. Now, I notice there is another issue which the bird can be dropped beyond the floor. So, because I forget, add the box collider to the. Yep, let me check the collider. Yep, should be fine. Okay, now we proceed to for the repeatable background implementation. So, now we need to duplicate the ground object. 
and rename this to ground2 mm, we will create another empty game object we call this ground holder which will hold both of these ground object now we will set the position of ground2 to the size of the collider okay cool now let us create a new script for the ground we call this um, background repeat to be clear okay now double click and edit it as for the background we will need to declare a box collider 2d by private box collider 2d mm, we will call this ground collider so then followed by a float with then on the start method we will reference to the box collider 2d object then we will set the width to the width of the ground collider okay cool now we leave the update for now we need to create a new method called reposition we will create a new vector we call this vector equal to new vector which is twice the size of the collider for x then we will add add the new vector to current position transform top position plus vector mm. uh, I need to pass we need to cast this to vector 2 Cool. Now, as for the update method, we will check whether the current position is less than the negative width of the collider as it keep moving forward backward. Then we will call reposition method. Yep. Let's go back to Unity. Let's add the script. Looks for the background with this script. Okay, cool. Now let's test it. Uh, mm. Let me check. This must be problem with the collider. Yep, I need to resize the collider which I have I didn't set up correctly just now. So let it mix to resize it to smaller until and move to the ground. Let me get the correct value. Cool. G let me copy this and paste it here so now let's test it again yep as you can see the background is keep moving backward oh now we wait for the background to be redeemed yes it's working as you can see the background script is working so i think that's it for part one I hope this tutorial helps you, if it did, please give me a like and also subscribe to my channel. See you in part 2.